So by, by abstaining and fasting, your organs get a rest and you'll come to a greater sense of the truth about yourself, the truth about who you really are. You know, we all put up this mask, you know, <laughs> that we, what we think people want us to be or what I think people, what I think I'll do so people will like me or love me. And we all face that. But fasting is a way of stripping that away and getting down to the confidence of the way God made you with your temperament, with your gifts. What are you supposed to do in the body of Christ? What are you supposed to do in the body of Christ? You're not supposed to do everything. Just do what you're supposed to do. And so by, by becoming aware of the truth about yourself, you then become more aware of the ineffable divine mercy of the Lord. And it blows your mind. If you haven't experienced that, it's worth it. And then when it comes to reading scripture, you know, a lot of people say, instead of eating, the time that you would spend eating lunch, read scripture. And it reminds me of this uh, saying from the prophet Amos in chapter 8, verse 11. He says, I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. And when we fast, it's like we're able to devote time to reading God's word, ask the Lord to anoint it, and to open it up for us to see why was this received as scripture? The scriptures are scriptures because the believing community accepted them as such. A book doesn't become scripture unless the believing community gives it the stamp and says, this is scripture, this is reliable, you can trust this. So when you're reading scripture, it has like a, the, the, uh, the seal of approval of the believing community and you can trust it. Even when you read parts of scripture that are difficult to understand, persevere, don't give up. And so the, the way of reading scripture with fasting, what does it do? It increases your awareness about the truth about yourself so that you can read the scripture with a greater purity and, and to not be afraid. Say, yeah, my motives are not altogether pure. Okay, join the human race. And not worry about that. And, and go into the scriptures once you have that off the shelf uh, to, to really let them become part of your, your DNA. But what is the reading of scripture supposed to do? Where did the scriptures come from? Somebody had an experience of the ineffable power of God. And then they talked about it to people. They go, Moses, Abraham, David, all these people, St. Paul. And, you know, they had to figure out what that was. And they talked about it. And then they had to go through a discernment period to see, is this guy a, you know, is this guy a wacko or is it for real? So I had to go through that period. And then once that's for real... Someone says, we need to write this down because this is authentic. And then finally, the passage, the, the, uh, it becomes scripture by the reception by the believing community. So we're reading this, the Bible with all that beforehand. But what is the purpose of reading scripture? To bring you back to the original divine experience that happened in the first place, that happened to Abraham or Moses or St. Paul. To have a powerful encounter with the God who is not dead, like the world says, but a living God, to just blow your mind with his mercy and kindness. And, uh, you know, when you go to confession, you experience the divine mercy. But then as soon as we're out the door, like St. Ephraim was saying, you know, I, I want the mercy of God, but I won't, dish it, I won't offer it to other people. You know, what's wrong with us? And that's the way we are. You know, we just have to confess it and, you know, ask the Lord to purify us more. And to say, purify me, purify my thoughts, purify my intentions, you know. And, and, and to say, why would you not want to live this way? The power of the gospel, the, the, the Pope wrote, the joy of the gospel we need to recover the joy of the gospel. The Christians won people over because they were models of joy.